old woman. Yo, this is fucked Don't up. Don't be no wise ass partner. Now give me that. Dios mio. This is a defecto ass. Hey, move! God. I got a drug habit that would put your problem celebrities in the ground!
We have a getaway vehicle ready and waiting. Good work, T. Where'd you put it? Richmond Glen. Okay, that's everything. Come back to the lot and I'll talk you through the plan. When we get the stuff, Steve says we gotta take it to Devin Weston, a guy we met at that interrogation. He's a big investor or something. Anyway, that don't matter. I'll handle the drop-off. What are you doing? Neighbors are gonna see this. You're always at that fucking golf course. You know I've got a competition coming up. Look, can we talk about this inside? That's it, walk away like you always do. Hey, you, listen, can you give me a ride? My wife's gone crazy, I'll throw some dollars your way. We'll need a vehicle first, unless you're looking for a piggyback. We'll see what I can conjure up. Okay, I'll wait here and take a good long look at my life, strewn all over the front yard. Just let me grab my favorite iron. She's not getting that. What a mess. A really great wardrobe out for all to see. Whatever. I can't deal with it right now. Can you drop me off at the golf club in Richmond? At least I know I'll be welcome there. I take it you're leaving your underwear in the driveway then? Yeah, I'm not giving her the satisfaction of cleaning that up. I'll go to the club, get a few drinks in me, and hope either her meds have kicked in or the gin is worn off by the time I get back. I appreciate you doing this, by the way. I, I know it's kind of a weird one. What's your name? T. Rever. Good to meet you. I'm Castro. What? What is that? Italian? Spanish? Pure wasp, I'm afraid. My sister's called Muffy, so I think I got off lightly. So, what was that all about? Ah, just the usual psycho female stuff. She thinks I've got another woman on the side. And have you? That's not the point. She doesn't know that I have one. Okay, guy to guy now. I have a very strict code. Only on out-of-town trips, no real names, a dead trail. That's a gentleman's way, right? Uh, I'm not sure I'm your boy for moral compass questions. I'm good like that. I don't want to embarrass her. Then she goes and literally airs our dirty laundry in front of all the neighbors. I mean, show some class. So, let me get this. 
pissed. Let me get you this have got straight. To be You're me. pissed because she's accusing you of cheating when she doesn't know you've cheated, even though you have cheated. Exactly. It's a lack of trust. She'd be accusing me of it even if I hadn't. I've never done anything at that golf club except play golf. And that's the god-honest truth. Which is more than I could say about her spin class instructor. In fact, I wonder if her fat ass is admissible as evidence in court. Because if she's doing that much spinning, it should be like a bowling ball by now. Anyway, sorry. You don't need to hear this. Oh, don't worry. I pretty much switched off when you said your name was Castro. If you just drop me off at the entrance here, that'd be great. Money doesn't buy you happiness. It just buys you a lot of therapy to talk about why you're not happy. Thank God for golf. That's all I say. Do you play? I've been known to dabble. What a game. True sport of kings. You know, they still don't let women on the course in Los Santos. It's a throwback to a less confusing time when everyone knew who they were. I can't wait to get to the club. See the guys and forget all about this. Thanks again. Hey, we should play golf sometime. Come by the club. I'm here most days. <laughs>